All right, welcome back to another edition of Hockey Stars in Cars presented by Enterprise. Today's guest, one of the newest members of the Calgary Flames. Just a handful of games, a couple of weeks in the city, and already stuck in a car with me. Tough luck. Today's guest is Daniel Miramano. There he is. He's always late. Hello. Hello, welcome, welcome. What's happening? Good to see you. How are you? Welcome to Hockey Stars and Cars. Yes, sir. You're uh, you're getting Pleasure. wrangled in right away. Yeah. Fresh into the city and already we're going to give you a little tour today. We Let's thought, do that. It's the wonderful weather today. I mean, I'm from I'm from I'm from Moscow, Russia. Yeah. Uh, I was raised, and you know, in winter time, it gets pretty cloudy, pretty like gloomy, and yeah. Um, you know, we really enjoyed the time in Vegas because it was always sunny and the blue skies and. And she actually learned that there's more sunny days yeah. in a year in Calgary than yeah. in Vegas. So this is this is like That's this good. is everything for me. Kind yeah. of. I depend on, on the weather a, a lot. Kind of, you know, it always feels good yeah. when you wake up in the morning and you know it's a blue sky. It's yeah. you know sun is shining and you're always in a good mood. And sure. you know we're we're humans just like flowers. You know we need we need sunshine like yeah. plants to blossom. Yeah, absolutely. Know? This is uh, this is the first stop. We want to take you a little. Uh, this is kind of like the famous uh, skyline view of the city of Calgary. So you got the uh, it's called Scotsman's Hill. It's it overlooks the Saddle Bone. Nice. That's, Pretty cool. That's the mountains over there. Yeah, mountains. First time, first time seeing the mountains. Oh, is that right? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. There you go. Maybe just take me back to that trade. You're getting the, getting the phone call and just sort of some of the emotions that were kind of attached to it right away when you found out where you were going. And aside from the whirlwind of trying to pack and get ready to go but yeah. just you know what it was like i knew that uh, you know that, that calgary wanted me and especially you know uh we were able to you know secure the extension right away sure. and that was yeah. also a massive sign that that, that you know g the management and you know the team sees something sees you know some potential in me and you know that's 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 all i ever wanted uh you know just just a little bit of that belief and opportunity to show showcase myself and yeah, show what yeah. I can do. Flew to uh, you know Miami the next day and joined the guys and yeah. it's been amazing since since that day. And you know I I was able to pack a few uh, luggages, yeah. a few bags a and then you know that, that. that's that's kinda how it is. Yeah. Did your wife get in when did she get in into Calgary but kinda shortly she, thereafter? She she got in uh, so we got back and then she got in the next day. Oh nice okay. And then so she was able to see the first game Perfect. And my first goal nice. here at Calgary, so yeah, it was it was amazing. That sign re-signing though, having it knowing that you got a two-year contract extension, get through kind of the end of this year, obviously, but then knowing you got you know something to build towards, something to look forward to for the next two years, and, and know where you're going to be, that's got to mean a lot too, doesn't it? I know what I what I can do in this league, and, and I'm just really grateful that uh, you know I have a chance uh, to be in Calgary for at least a couple of next years, yeah, and you know to do what I can do. You came over to Canada pretty young, like 16 years old. What was that, that move like for you at, at such a young age and how did you kind of make it work to, I think you were in the GTHL for a couple of years there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we came over and I I went to school uh, in Toronto called Everest Academy. So it's kind of like, you know, school for athletes. We had, okay. we had yeah. guys, you know, playing different, guys and girls playing different sports and then we, you know, we all had, you know, we practiced in the morning, then we went to school, yeah. and then we were kind of done for the day. Um, it was, it was, it was huge. I played for Junior Canadians, Toronto Junior right. Canadians, yeah. uh, Major Triple uh, in the, you know, the GTHL. Right. Yeah. So, played that for two years, and I went over, uh, you know, to QMJHL. Had an amazing, you know, three years in the queue. <laughs> That's where you uh, and then you played with uh, Jacob Pelts. there, right? Yeah, Pelts, yes, Moncton, yes, we right? played in Moncton. It was yeah. my, it was his rookie year. It was my last year. Okay, yeah. So, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He Is was... he still as chatty then as a rookie, or did he? Uh... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's good old Pelts. Energy? Good old Pelts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, family is everything for me. I'm, yeah. you know, really close to my parents. I talk to them twice a day, every single day, and so. That's great. Man. And and I'm I'm grateful, you know, that I able that I'm able to. Mm -hmm experience this and share my experience with my mom and dad because I remember the times when you know when I was five years old and I you know had a birthday with my best friend we were five days apart yeah we were celebrating our birthdays and we cheered for 
I was still playing in the NHL. We were five years old, and you know, I'm, and now I'm really living my dream, and you know, seeing my family, experiencing it, my parents, my grandparents, and it's truly wonderful. And like, I always wish the people, you know, have the same experience in life, where they can, you know, wake up every single day and look forward for their day, and you know, really live the life that they dreamed when they were five years old. You know, that's, yeah, I don't think it gets better than that. No, man, that's, and, that's a blessing. And, yeah. and that's a really true blessing. I'm grateful every single day. Yeah. I wake up in the morning and I practice gratitude, the things that I'm grateful for. And I'm, you know, definitely never forget what my parents and my grandparents did for me. And, you know, so that's, that, that's kind of the path. What, uh, who did you grow up like? Who, you know, obviously, I'm sure you saw a little bit of NHL, but who were your like big role models, right? Hockey guys that you would uh, follow and watch uh, when you were a kid. Kovalchuk. Yeah. Yeah, Kovalchuk. Yeah, okay. that's who. Uh, like most oh, yeah. of most of the Russian guys, like yeah. Alex Kovalev. Uh, forwards, mostly the forwards, because right? I was a forward. Yeah. Right. And then when I switched, um, the guys. When I switched, the guy I looked looked up the most was uh, Carlson, nice. Eric Carlson. Yeah. Offensive, Still offensive look up to him, yeah. yes. I always had a dream to play it against Tatsuk. Did you? Yeah. I played against him his last year. No way, you yeah, got it, before really? Before he retired, yeah. Where was that? It was when well, I was in KHL. Okay. I was in KHL, he was also in KHL. That's played after against him twice. from the NHL then? That's right, went, okay. that's right. Yeah. And then I took a picture with him after the game and um, yeah, I'll never forget that. Yeah. Oh, that's outstanding. Yeah, man. yeah. When uh, when did you switch? Like the forward, it was in junior, right? When you made or close to? Yeah, like... the full transition. I uh, was in junior. Was like in junior. The full okay. transition. Yeah. And it was also it was also very risky because you know when you're in juniors, you're like you're getting drafted. The guys are you know are NHL prospects, and uh, me, uh, you know, I did a transition. So, you know, it definitely needed some time. Yeah. It felt like you had to almost like kind of go backwards a little bit first before That's moving right. forwards. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and you know, I, I, I went I went on to play in the East Coast, and I went to play back home, and and those steps those steps were necessary because I was trusted. I had opportunity to to develop. Those few, first few years, I had to, you know, go out and you know just think about those things constantly on the ice. Until yep. they became habits. Until it was ingrained in you. Yeah. Yep. Still a little chilly, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just getting through winter, so I gotta get a warm. You gotta get a warm latte. We are gonna leave you uh, a couple of hats here for, for the staff, just for like welcoming us in if we could. Yeah. I don't know if you. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Daniel. Can you, uh, I'm your man. He's new to Calgary. Just thought we'd leave it for the staff, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Here in Calgary, or you know, any Canadian town, you know, yeah. got the NHL. How, what, 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 what the team means for for the people, yeah. And, yeah. and it's amazing. And I mean, I love everything about Calgary and yeah. how people love the Flames and and you know and us, you know, as hockey players. You know, being able to get back to the people, get back to the yeah. community, because that's everything. You know, we, yeah. we do we do it for the people, we do it for the community, for little kids that that, that have someone to look up yeah. to. The way I see the life is, you know, we gotta honor the people who came before us, yeah. and to show people who are coming after us what's possible yeah. and what they can do, what can achieve, what they can achieve, yeah. because because the whole humanity. Is, is 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 up to the up to the you know the kids coming uh, you know after us. Me being in this position, uh, it's just it's just an honor you know to making somebody else's day. Like it's it's nothing for me you know just giving the giving the little kid a puck or you know just just wave at him or yeah. give him a stick. They you know, the, the, the kid will never forget that. Yeah. Just like I never forget those things. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank Take you. Care. Alright, let's roll, bro. It's a great place, great coffee. Yeah, it's good coffee. It's a great coffee. It's a good yeah. coffee, yep. Yeah. My first time in the US ever was 2009. Yeah. We went over to 
uh, Nike Bauer tournament in Chicago. Okay. And we went to the game. Uh, Blackhawks played against uh, uh, played against uh, the LA Kings. It was my first time in the U.S. first NHL game. And then we, like our Russian kids, our Russian team, we went to the locker room after the game. No way. I gave a high five to, to Kane. Yeah. I talked to Hjalmarsson a little bit yeah. and, and, and Taves signed my, my calendar. Uh, and so... That's great. And I had, had it all in, all, all, all in my room back home, like the signature, yeah. had it Taves on my wall. And then it was special because last year I had to play to get, I had a chance to play against them. Yeah. And I remember I lined up on the uh, on the face up and I see Kane right across. Yeah. And we were at, we were at the United Center, and just like we were talking in the car, like those types of things. Yeah. You dream about. You look up to those guys, right. and you, you you look at them like 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 they're the gods. Right. right. You know. And, and then, then you're and one then, day you're playing against and, them. And then one day you're playing against them. It, yeah. Some it, it doesn't even you know click in your brain at times but it's definitely special and it's it's amazing and that's what i'm grateful for every single day this is uh i'm daniel yeah nice to meet you guys okay appreciate that thank you we have a pair of tickets and we'd love to offer you a couple of hats here as well so we were gonna just see if you wanted a hat. We got a couple of hats we wanted oh, to yeah. give away. Would you take a yeah, take a hat? Yeah, you just got traded here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nice. This is uh, two weeks. I love in. it. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice to be able to meet you. Yeah. Thanks nice for your support. You yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. See you at the game. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Thank sir. You. Strolls by the river work out pretty nice some days, yeah. eh? <laughs> take care.